And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Why do you hear this loud, obnoxious turkey sound? Toiky, toiky sound. Well, I'll tell you why. I wish you because this tell is our, why. this is our. Tell us why, please. Happy Thanksgiving uh, a, a day, um, week. Happy Thanksgiving week, 2015 show, because Thanksgiving day is. This Thursday, of course, it's always on a Thursday, May and, I, uh, and it often rains on Thanksgiving. But I love turkey. I'm going to gorge myself on my sister Lisa's wonderful cooking, Ooh. like I do every year, and then I will be, get intoxicated with high quality uh, liquor oh, from the uh, my brother-in-law's liquor cabinet, and I will enjoy myself. And uh, uh, when I say thanks. <clears throat> I thank I thank the wonderful meal I'm going to have but but there was no real thanks for the Native Americans when the uh, uh, the right wing religious nuts the Puritans landed at Plymouth Rock there was definitely it was not a plus for the Native is that, Americans is, is that the ones who did the, the feast or was that the the uh, Jamestown, you know, the down the, the Virginia, Virginia colony. That was the oldest colony, I think. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm well, not which sure. Which one? Which one was with the turkey thingy from the and from the natives and bringing the corn and all that crap, teaching them? I don't know if it was Plymouth, no. the Plymouth uh, Rock uh, colony or or the uh, Southern colony. Well, you know, the history books we had Whatever. In, we had in school were full of shit. You know, you only find out the real story later on on uh, on sh programs like on the History Channel. You know, <laughs> when there's a documentary that tells you the real history of something. Um, Maybe. Maybe. No, they have pretty, a lot of propaganda they and have all pretty, that shit. They have pretty good people that... You know? That research and you know dig into things. Yeah, maybe today, but what about the? Are you before? Are, are you fucking serious? You know, you know the the vocal cat. Last time that meow to come in. Well, the yeah, same fucking cat last, wants to go out. He vocal last night. Which means night. you cocksucker gonna mess my flags up. He vocal last night and puked. Yeah, and he's gonna fucking mess my flags up. Then he's gonna want to come back in. Uh, he's good. The motherfucker. Then I gotta fix the flags again. You're all right. They're they're witches familiars. I'm telling you. Hey, the, the cat there ain't is no witches around here. The cat is the witches for witches familiar. Now I gotta refix the fucking flags. Thanks, Steve. You cocksucker. Thank you. Fucking my show up. Usually, if you're a female. The female cats are the more tro tro bigger troublemakers, but this one's a male. You cocksucker! Right at the beginning of the show. Motherfucker. Better the beginning than the middle. No, it's worse at the beginning because uh, the beginning is when I do the formalities. Well, you didn't get them yet. No, I didn't do them yet. See. By the way, while we're yakking here, are you, uh, are you sure you have this thing uh, uh, correctly? Because bring the bring the bring the crown up a little now i see it otherwise i can't see it well it's gonna go on my head all right but i'm saying yeah yeah the camera person don't make hey, sure hey jake come make, on are you got sure it right you, or what make sure is that oh is that what the jabroni's name yeah, is jake jake, jake, jake and the, the fat oh speaking of jake the snake this is our evangelical that's not jake that's santorum the snake this guy loves to interrupt me Call a conversation. This is um, the evan our official evangelical serpent that I, I named until I find a better name. Santorum. Say hello to Santorum, as in taking up serpents like you know the crazy cult <laughs> evangelical cultists do, taking up serpents. You know, and that's uh, of course you know this gentleman very well, Mr. Anonymous. Um, 
this time he's staring right into the camera. He's not over there, out yonder, like them them da tea baggers like to say. He's not out yonder anymore. But um, yeah, the Native Americans have nothing to be thankful. Um, the only thing they ever got from the uh, from the uh, uh, Caucasian European invaders was smallpox as a, as a gift in the blankets. But that's Thank about you. but that's about all they got. Thank that's, you. Otherwise, they were stolen. Everything was taken from them. Now, you all, and you all know that already. Uh, welcome to Progressive Discussions. I'm your host, James P. Madon of Mega Life Twenty One. And I'm here with my co-host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? Lakota Sioux. I'm a Lakota Sioux also, remember. Sitting bull, yeah. Well, the weather... Sitting bullshit. The weather has been, has been um, typical climate change fluctuations. Ah. A lot of people got sick because of it. But it is now, um, would you say the temperature is appropriate for this time of November? It's, I, I believe it's, it's got to be like 50, 51, 52 because the furnace has not come on. It's right in there where right. it, it doesn't come on. Right. And I believe I saw on the uh, weather yesterday, it was supposed to be 50 today, so I don't know. Oh, 50. Yeah. yeah, well, that's still a little warm for this time of year. Well, it's November. It's a November to remember. Yeah. And of course, if you saw last week's show, if you, you saw if you saw last week's show, you saw the uh, debut of the <laughs> King's Crown, and uh, I explained why I am the approven, undisputed king of progressive internet talk shows. Uh, we are collectively, myself and, and Dr. Bill. And uh, Except I'm not a king. No, he's not a king. He's just a humble uh, a researcher and, me and messenger. Don well, Quixote. Right. A Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Yeah, more like Don Quixote. But anyway, um, those were the levity bells. Um, everybody else in the industry holds back, but we don't. You know what I mean? I mean, I've seen so many. Um, for instance, uh, there, there's a nutritionist that uh, is on our local News 12 New Jersey, uh, Dr. Silva. I think uh, it's D. Silva. Eh? D. Silva, I'm D. sorry. Silva. Dr. De Silva. Right. And uh, he had some people from the some national diabetic uh, foundation or diabetic association mm -hmm. and naturally he was talking about diabetes and it was brief wasn't that long and uh, you know uh, the people were saying uh, we want to uh, uh, encourage a, a diabetic uh, awareness everything was awareness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but nothing was said about the a toxic uh, uh, American food industry uh, poison in the supermarket and the diet. No, nothing was said about uh, sugar, demonizing refined carbohydrates was, was not mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, Do and Dr. De Silva is a person who has his own line of nutritional products and he talks about nutrition at other times but as far as diabetes goes with all with these diabetic uh, muckety mucks these big shots it was all about diabetic awareness the uh, diabetic association with their diet and everything they they don't give you a diet that a diabetic should have because they the people won't follow it are they kissing up to the food industry are no, they are there. they food industry whores they really don't want to change the diet you mean like weight watchers they, whatever they everything want everything has po there is no whatever portion control I know, or whatever but it, they don't no want it's to not whatever it's portion control and everything is based on point value so in other words but it's really about food 
You're all, it's the wrong but, but they allow people to eat processed crap. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Pop tarts, snack well cookies, uh, th these things are allowed in Weight Watchers because they have point value, but they shouldn't be eating any of these processed high sugar foods. And neither should the diabetics. That's my point in time. Right, and the obese. That, well, the obese shouldn't be there. They shouldn't be eating them, period. Yeah. So, there, so in other words, they're all kissing up to Big Agra and the U.S. food industry uh, in one, one way or another. What about the, the registered dietitians in hospitals who have a master's degree to be a registered dietitian? You ever see the average cardio uh, uh, meal designed by them? Diet, yeah. The sugar in it, man. Gary Null said the their, sugar in their it. books are 30, 30 years out of date. Well, if they're 30 years out of date, why, what do they learn to get a master's degree? Whatever they do, but the, and also the point is that they, they believe that they are nutritionists. Uh, they Dietitians be the, believe they are nutritionists. Because uh, Big Pharma and the medical officialdom says that they are the only qualified nutritionists, which is a complete lie, because if you're a nutritionist, you wouldn't put so many refined carbs in a hospital patient's meal. You would be going more with something that is healthy, makes sense, like like an Atkins uh, diet. Now, now I, there was um, some medical people was uh, talking about ketones and ketoacidosis yeah. that could be dangerous. Let me tell you something. Ketones are fat mobilizing chemicals that occur when your uh, carb intake is low enough and um, it is um, the natural way your body burns your fat for energy. Yes, and they only dangerous in someone like let's say has uh, diabetes uh, uh, number one and is losing weight. The mellitus? Mellitus, yes. Yeah. You know, somebody who's losing weight and, and, and then at keto Keto uh, acidosis would be a problem, but ketones in a person who is losing weight, come on. As, the, as uh, Dr. Robert Atkins said, it, it's like jumping off a curb. Nothing. Yeah, if you if you have excess body fat, correct, it shouldn't be there. That's the Regar way it goes. Regardless, what the obese people on these talk shows that are that cry and demand that they are just part of an alternative lifestyle and they are to be accepted. Bullshit. If you're, if you're overweight and you have excess body fat, you are endangering your health. If you're, if you're obese, you are endangering your health even more. And you, uh, you, had a, you have a problem that needs to be addressed. Anyone who's overweight, Gary Knoll says, is not healthy. He's right. I agree with him. Okay. And 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 there's just too much coddling going on. There are there are too many people in America across the board that are walking on eggshells because they're so afraid of offending somebody. Instead of telling somebody the real truth, which is what we believe in here, they just sugarcoat everything and coddle everybody. You know, it's like. Um, like that, that nauseating Richard Simmons when he used to hold the fatty's mm. hand. Oh, 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 with, with his stupid curly hair up in the air. Oh, oh, but poor thing, you poor thing. He never kept the fat off, though. Well, nobody really liked to see him in shorts and a tank top anyway. Wow. He was pretty disgusting. But <laughs> he obviously did. Yeah, well, he's he, look. You got to set the example. Yeah, he didn't. If you're going to be a fitness, back on again. If you're going to be a fitness expert, you got to yeah. set the. Oh, like when uh, Oprah Winfrey yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 tore down uh, Dr. Robert C. Atkins. May he rest in peace. Uh, uh, the yo-yo diet expert, mm -hmm. the yo-yo diet syndrome queen, Oprah Winfrey, that claims that her nutritionist and her trainer know what they're doing I and mean, meanwhile she would lose weight gain it back lose weight gain it back mm -hmm. so anyway um
what's in the news? Uh, oh, Ted Cruz wants to start some kind of prayer organization. <laughs> Who is he going to pray is. for, the rich? He wants Obama to tell something to his face. <laughs> tell yeah, it sure. to his face. Sure. I saw a video last night, and Obama was, Obama was chasing Ted Cruz, who was on a tricycle. And Obama was in a tank, and oh. it, it was, it, it was. I want, hey, stop! I want to tell it to your face. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> ah, James. I'm sure Obama laughed at All this challenge. Grandpa Munster, Al Lewis, uh, looking. Ted Cruz is in no position to punch anybody out, and uh, <clears throat> Ted Cruz is. He might as well just hang it up. He's only wasting money on his campaign, really, and most of them are. Uh, uh, um, but what you have left is the person who's playing upon the bigotry and hatred that's already in many Americans, Donald Trump. He's only playing on the hatred that's already there. You know, now he wants to close down mosques. And, ID cards. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 Muslims have to wear ID cards, and uh, what did Obama say? Well, what about, what about racist Republicans? Shouldn't they wear ID cards too? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's hypocrisy across the board, and uh, Canada, they're threatening to move to Canada. Meanwhile, Justin Trudeau is taking in a lot of refugees, Syrian refugees. I mean, thousands of them. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, I hope Justin Trudeau, I posted something on his page, I hope Justin Trudeau, Trudeau, just to aggravate American Republicans, I hope he plants thousands of acres of hemp, which will, incidentally, be a financial explosion for Canada <clears throat> as a cash crop. But, oh yeah, I would, I would, I would, I would plant a lot of hemp. And that would really put Canada over the top. I mean, in all all the benefits of the hemp plant, everything, which is so multi-faceted, um, <clears throat> really. Um, so anyway, let us uh, sink our teeth into these what readings. What about the formalities? Uh, well, I introduced, I introduced... That's the formalities? Well, I introduced you. Yeah. <coughs> I told people, we're coming to you from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern yeah. New Jersey. It's progressive discussions. Yeah. And um, I want to uh, salute yeah. Bernie Sanders yeah. for his uh, Georgetown University speech on socialism. Democratic Socialism recently. It was one of his very finest speeches that I ever heard, and I saved it. You know, um, uh, he did an excellent job, and it was a great turnout. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see, I want to say God greetings to my near dear friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. Hello, Miho. And uh, all of my Facebook group administrators collectively who watch the show buy, uh, get the newsletter who are really up on everything he's being sarcastic uh, whoa. yeah all of them all of them really I mean uh, Sash Boyle uh, Anthony Laura uh, Faith and Bigora no Jay Faith and Bigora no that's St. Patrick's Day Anthony Laura uh, Sash Boyle um, uh, what's his name? R uh, uh, Rick Von Raven, I believe Ooh. his name is. Our new, um, gee, I hope, I hope. Sounds like a German. I hope. Rick I hope Von I got, Raven? I hope I got your first name right. Uh, he's our newest um, um, administrator, group yeah. administrator. Um, my my friend from Portugal, Indian Clubs Portugal, Helder Gandra, greetings. Um, let's see, uh, Mario Petrus, 
Greetings, shout out to Mario Petrus. <coughs> Let's see, uh, Mr. Uh, got Mr. Glenn Bean, a progressive warrior. Actually, uh, Mr. Von Raven is is a progressive warrior. He contributes a lot mm -hmm. to the group. That's why he's an administrator. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, oh, uh, Evelyn Pringle, I think, uh, completed her second show on the Progressive Radio Network. Right? This is, was Monday. her second week. Monday. That was her second. Yeah, that was show two. She okay. said she uh, did better than she expected, but she's still waiting for Gary Noel to put her show to archive. To archive, and she's not even on the guest list. I'm sorry, the host list Ooh. on the Progressive Radio Network. What the hell's taking him so long? Mm -hmm. What kind of uh, incompetent college interns does he have on that show? Why is it taking so long to add Evelyn Pringle? Oh, so anyway, she's doing a great job. She's a true progressive warrior. Um, and um, greetings to uh, uh, Natalia um, Rodriguez of uh, San Diego, California. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, I saw her uh, comment on somebody's new picture the oh. other day. Natalia. Yeah, not not uh -huh. not Natalia Neidhart for uh, the professional wrestler from the WWE. But anyway, um, but basically, you know, I like to see uh, carbon copies of ourselves, progressive warriors out there, um, spreading the message of truth. You know, instead of the Injustice message of uh, and the American way of false propaganda. No, no, not the American way. The American way is about corporate greed. Oh no! Well, wait a minute. They, oh, 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 oh! They have. They they have uh, co-opted. Here we go. You can't say the American way is bad. They co-opted it. The original is not bad, the American way. And besides, it's the people who are in control that do the damage. Yeah. Oh, Bernie Sanders was talking a lot about FDR's Second Bill of Rights. Yeah. Which I'm very glad he made the students aware of it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sure many are not. And he mentioned the fact that the very wealthy Middle Eastern countries like uh, Saudi Arabia uh, should be contributing towards the fight against ISIS and... No kidding, it's their fight. And the so-called ally that the United States rescued, Kuwait, has been funding ISIS. <laughs> so is Saudi Arabia. What the fuck? Why are we... Why are we kissing up to these countries and pouring so much tax money into them. They buy our weapons. This we are the the biggest the seller of weapons in the world. So they're business partners. Well you saw George W. Bush kissing the goddamn king, walking around holding hands, hugging, mug, singing Kim Kumbaya, Kumbaya he's or almost, whatever. He's almost tongue kissing him. That's correct. And the father, father with the Carlisle group, they're all together. They're all business partners. They're business partners. You know, uh, yeah. and this is why you have to understand the United States, uh, the last war it won was World War II. That's correct. Everything after that has been war profiteering, war for profit. You know, and uh, oh, and you, uh, wait, why do you think these video games are so popular? I hear the, I hear the Pentagon is really behind all these violent video games. They're getting the kids prepared young for a military future. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Young people. Because if you, the neocons want perpetual war. Because it's business. Good for business. It's business for a few evil, greedy old geezers on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The ruling class, as Bernie Sanders calls mm -hmm. them. The ruling class. Young people, if you... Listen to me very carefully. 
if you can only remember this from me, the king of progressive talk uh, radio, uh, do not believe anything a recruiter tells you. Hmm. I know from experience, but it's been obvious right along up until now. Don't believe a word they tell you. Now let us sink our teeth into these readings. Remember who the king is, and I'll challenge anybody, anybody. I, I don't want. I hate to knock f a fellow progressives, but uh, uh, I don't. It doesn't seem like that guy Sink. You know, the the chubby guy with no neck. Ah, my name is Sink. I'm a I'm a Turk. I'm a Toik. I'm a what does he call? I'm a young Toik. <clears throat> He's not that hard hitting, really. You know, and that chick with the high-pitched voice, you know, his partner. Not hard-hitting at all. You got to be hard-hitting. Hit him in below the belt and hit him hard and hit him low. Was that Newt Rockney or uh, 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 um, Vince up. Lombardi? I think it was Newt Rockney, hit right? Him hit him hard and hit him low. Hit him hard and hit him low. The sugar and corn industry. Oh, boy. Toxic. Ended their billion dollar battle over sweeteners on Friday in a secret out of court settlement. I don't like out of court settlements. I like people to, to be punished. Both sides announced the deal that puts an end to a trial that began nearly three weeks ago in Los Angeles. Federal court pitting sugar against high fructose corn syrup. They're both bad. The archivals sugar-coated their acrimony no pun intended in a settlement statement that announced their commitments to practices that encourage safe and healthful use of their products. Including moderation in the consumption of table sugar table sugar. It's refined white sugar. What if it was on the floor? It wouldn't be table sugar anymore? Floor sugar. Floor sugar. <laughs> High fructose corn syrup and other sweeteners. It's like table grapes. What the fuck? You can eat grapes anywhere. Sugar processors sought a 1.5 billion dollars in false advertising claim against corn refiners and agribusinesses, Archer Daniels, Midland, and Cargill, after the corn refiners tried to rebrand their publicity plague product as corn sugar. Western Sugar Cooperative and other sugar processors claimed they lost money when corn refiners launched a sugar is sugar ad campaign any any substance that ends in o s e os is a sugar and sugar is poison to the body uh, a complex carbohydrates is just a slow sustained release of blood sugar because it's mixed with all that fiber that stated, your body can't tell the difference. Yeah. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need newsletter censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hey, listen, for the 
real hard-hitting truth, you need newsletter censored. And now, back to the show.